today? Yeah, about 340 pounds. Oh my god. <laughs> Go to auctions and buy stuff. Auction again, finally. Yeah. When was the last time you had went to an auction? It was about 1997. I'm a back road bitter. Feels like. It's been probably a month. I would say longer than a month. Yeah, that's why I've been crabby. Sorry, I've been <laughs> biting your head off lately. Are you all dried out now? Bid, bid, auction. What are you looking for today? Is this an interview? Yeah. Today. Shut up and answer the questions. Uh, I don't know, nothing in particular. Yeah. They it, didn't list a lot of household stuff, but yes, our, no. our inside guy said there's 14 wagons. as far as the eye can see. It's a big one. Two rings, eh? Bars. Can you dig it? That's my size, dude. I saw these hats from the other side of the wagon and I couldn't run around the end fast enough. Um, there's some beauties in here. Huge flats with a lot of vintage hats. Um, real bangers some of these and uh, I decided I would go up to forty dollars a flat for them I don't think there was any three stripe hats which is kind of like the grails I reckon you could have went up to sixty five dollars a flat but you do you hey bud <laughs> let's party classy outfit I hope you guys see the irony in what just happened right there. <laughs> Pretty much everything these people had was like top of the line. The, they had Craftsman Tools and uh, Snap-on and Cummins was another brand he had a lot of stuff from. Just quality stuff and uh, look at that, I'm Thor, man. I'm so Thor I can hardly lift this thing. <laughs> yeah, well, that's probably a good thing. Nine. Nine. See the number. Oh. Jeez, he's got some stuff here. Holy cow. <laughs> I'm gonna be a while, guys. Just, just go into the cornfield back behind. You bring a trailer with you? I think I need to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a. Ellery Queen's magazines are a good read, a bunch of short mystery stories, and they're also a quick sell when you're done with them. Just a little hot tip for you. I usually avoid records because you usually only find the three C's, uh, but they, they had so much media here and they had unique records, you know, ghost stories and good old country and uh, humor records. So I, I thought I was going to go after this box. Looked good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
What? How you doing? I got you something in my truck, so I'll go grab it. What is it? So it's a hat. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, this is, it's like I said, that's why I told you. I said this is a good auction. Bring your truck. Did you bring the truck? No. You brought. You brought the car. Yeah. Well, I bought the Buick. That'll that'll carry a lot of crap. And there's furniture. I got a friend with a truck here. Yep. <laughs> there's furniture on the back side of the house too. Okay. How's it look? Thanks, Mike. <laughs> when our wives leave us and me and Nate get an apartment together, we're going to have these lights. By the way, these were made out of glass. These are nice ones. They're not the plastic ones you usually see. Some of the larger tractors here got three to five hundred bucks. And I don't know a lot about farm toys, but those big ones right there on the end, those. Those are the ones that got a lot of money. And I think they were more than just toys. Like maybe there were some kind of floor models, you know, that a, a tractor dealer might have had. I don't know, but they were they were nice. I must say, it's the gambler himself. On silk. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. And they just rolled the cart out and upstairs and rolled it in. And they just put it that means right is going to be there. <laughs> Hi, Mike. How are you? Doing good. Hello? So you made it down? We or did up? It. Up, 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 up. Yep, yep. The house is way bigger than it looks in the room. Oh, I believe it. Yeah. Way bigger. I love that front porch the way it's built on there. Mm -hmm. Three cars. Hellos? Almost game time. It's a big crowd, so I don't know what kind of prices we'll get, but there's a chance we're going to be going home with a lot of stuff. And with this crowd, there's a chance we'll get nothing. Or there's a chance we'll get a moderate amount of stuff. Me and the missus were just thinking if we brought the truck today, there'd be our new living room furniture. I love it. I actually do too. <gasps> oh, what? Oh. oh, God. That's comfy. Yeah. I don't know if I can get out of it, though. Usually we find this chair in mauve color. And that one's cool. <laughs> Oh, oh, 81 by 275. 113, Michael, what'd you buy? Uh oh, hang on. We have an absentee bed on that. Yep, right there. You bet. Yep. Simmons Dairy Shulzberg. Simmons Dairy Shulzberg. I have never seen one, or let alone sold one. I've never seen one. You do? Okay, would you give me about a uh, hundred dollars to start. You got a hundred? Because I do too. We got two absentee bits up here. We don't need you guys. You got a right here. 
We got 100 to start, 100 and a quarter. 125 to get 25 and a half, 25 and a half, 100 to get 75, 175 and two. Man, I'm gonna get two, 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 175 and two. My bidder's in, 175, two dollars and two, I'm gonna get it 175, 200 and a quarter. Two and a quarter and a half, two and a half and 75 now. 275 to go three, three and a quarter, 325 and now half, three and a half and my bidder's out. Three and a half, you're in now 75, 375, last call. Mark, you're in the lead at 350 and 75, last call. Anybody else? Alex. He's heading north on one on five four. Thanks, Thank you, Mark. That might be one of a kind. Thank you. Know. Apparently, we came home just in time. Those are some spooky clouds over there. What are you looking at, lady? So, you believe in miracles? It's an auction miracle. Our number today at the auction was 88. And the total amount we spent, $88. Sure glad you bought more glass. Well, it's not just any glass. <gasps> Those are cool. Is that a white Russian? No, it's Irish coffee. Oh, I just saw the cream and the whiskey. <laughs> no, I think the the white Russian has rum in it. Yeah. Those are cool. And then little whiskey glasses. Are we gonna have some Irish coffee today? No, I'm not. You can. Come on. <laughs> this is the crystal set I was telling you about. Oh, I like those. It's dirty, but. So it's got four, they're heavy. Um, it's got four of the whiskey glasses and then the decanter, crystal decanter that came with it. Wanna see the decanter, is it buried? Um, it's kind of buried. Like this is, uh oh, this is the stopper for it. And this sucker is heavy. Look at my cool hat. I like that hat. I bought this separately. Um, I got beat out on the hat lot. They went for 50 bucks a box of of trucker caps and oh. it was worth it because I mean there was some nice classic hats in there look at this classy I like it <clears throat> see that's all that matters this box is chicks yours chicks dig it I paid three dollars for this box um just because I there's a bunch of Carol Burnett show DVDs in here I think that by itself will pay for the box even though they're not worth a ton of money. And there's some cool VHS in here. I thought this was from the TV show Combat, but it's just a bunch of uh, combat movies. Oh, there it is. That sucker's heavy. Is that the brand name? Yeah. Ar Arena? I don't know. But yeah, it is. I got this for like two or three bucks. Um... No, wait, this is two different lots. Hold up. Hold it. All right. I got these old shears that I'll have to look up. Pinking shears. Along with whatever these things are. God bless you. God bless you. Get in there. Um, along with this pitch thing. And a deck of cards. So that was $3.00. And then another three dollars with this tin steam engine and these railroad spikes with I don't know pewter trains on them. Underneath the um, shirt. Oh, I forgot what these are called. What's the brand? It's a girly candle. Oh, girly right there. He looks kind of girly. Yeah, I only I think I paid a dollar for the box that he came in. Well, yeah, this is her wedding dress. No shit. Yeah. That's gotta be... Yeah. Old. I'm surprised she wore white. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't know her. <laughs> anyway, I paid a dollar for this dress. Top sheet, that's a controversial subject. Yeah. Do, you, do you use a top sheet? <laughs> do you use a top sheet or no? And if you don't, why or not? No. Or no. whole bunch of mostly Ellery Queen magazines. 
which it's a it's a mystery magazine that I believe they still print. Um, they usually promote new mystery authors, and it's been around for years and years. These are some old ones, and I plan to read them and then sell them. I went for the books and didn't buy any books. I <laughs> swore off of books and I bought books. I got all these belt buckles for six bucks. Nice. Not each. Six bucks for all of them. Well, that one's kind of rough. But I've said it a thousand times, I can always get 12 bucks for a belt buckle. Some of these I bet you are worth 30 or more. Well, there's a John Deere one in there. Five cents. Insert coin, unzip, shake well, guaranteed action, internal use only. Can you put this on my belt? Hmm. Is a nickel too much? For you? Yeah. Yeah. John Deere Day. So six bucks for all those. The first thing I bought today were four Rubbermaid totes. A one, two, three, four. How much did you pay for those? Buck a piece. That's awesome. Because with lids. Rough yeah, with lids too. <sighs> this is your tapestry. This is my tapestry. Oh, I like it. Elk. Isn't that nice? That was huge. $3 I paid for it. I paid $2.50 for this. I can't believe no one else bid on it. Oh, wow. John Deere Dubuque Works, 150 years celebration. It's a platter. Ornaments? Yeah. These are old ornaments. Um, I paid, I think, a dollar or $2. It's this box and that box over there. That white one? I feel like it's going to start raining. Well, hurry it up. I'm trying. Quick over and off. So this is the bread, bread for the exchange. Ooh, those are cool. Isn't that pretty? They were very proud of their Irish heritage. Yeah. Oh, and then these little, it's a guy and a girl, I think. Yeah. Carolyn. They're actually bells. I didn't realize they were bells, but um, I got all this for a dollar. I did get this massive toaster. That's a modern one which I didn't really care to get. This is what I wanted. An old chrome Toastmaster with the little, I don't know, fishy design on the side. It's got the uh, cloth cord. I don't, I hope that tape isn't a bad sign. I would bet, just judging by everything else at that place, that this works. Single slice toaster. Um, and if it does, I can sell that pretty well. This will be the adult portion of the show. Electric gum massager. Little novelty thing there. For adults only. Got a special straw. Look away, kids. And this lighter holder. Let's see if the lighter even works. Look at that! That's hot! Please, YouTube, do not ban me for that. I paid, I think, $2.50 for those three naughty things. And it was... A dollar for the two toasters. I'm gonna give Marcy that straw for Christmas, don't tell her. Are they shiny bright? I don't know. It says they're made in the USA. I like that color. Yeah, it's pretty. It doesn't look Christmassy, but it's still look. Blue balls. Nice. Now what happened with this? Is, is that uranium though? I don't know. That's what I thought. I'm like, oh my gosh, that looks like it might be uranium. Look at that chunk. <laughs> Yeah, there's some chunks. That's bad. I've never seen a chunk that bad before. <laughs> That's a chunky vase you got. <laughs> but don't you think if it's uranium, that'll kind of make up for that? I don't know. I, this may just end up in my kitchen on the top of my cupboards. Well, we'll check I it. I like it. Like, I love the color and stuff. But... We'll check that right about now. And how much did you pay for that? Ten bucks. Oh, there. my God. Of it. There's a um, there's a uh, little plate that matches this. Like a dessert plate. Yeah. So I'm like, it. okay, at least I'll make my money back out of it. And then there's this little thing. I don't think that's your Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. I thought this was really cute, but again, this one is cracked too. Oh, the top hat. Okay. Dang, what'd they do to that? I don't know. We got luggage. Yes. 
But you got that for free, right? I did. I went scavenging. Nobody wants this. I'm gonna take it. It's got wheels. That's so. that's how she met me. Yeah. No, nobody wants this. I'm gonna take it. He's got wheels. <laughs> that's exactly it. <laughs> so I got quilts. Yes. Or comforters. Um, quilts. They're handmade. Nice. So two dollars and fifty cents a piece. Oh wow. Yeah, I got this one. This one looks like there's some steam on that one. And this one. Is that leather? No. No, I think it's Gosh, I thought that was like brushed leather. It looked like suede. No. And then uh, this is what I wanted out of this. Oh, is it just fabric? Or no, it... it's a uh, tablecloth. These are all tablecloths. Oh. And there's a terry tablecloth in there. It's kind of cute. So, yeah, I, I think I paid two bucks for the box of tablecloths. How did we do, people? Uh, Fans? Our number today was number 88. And we spent $88. Yeah, I already covered that. Oh, sorry. Well, you look cute saying it. Yeah, so leave mine in and cut yours out. We'll cut mine off. And even if it's not true, we'll say it was 88 degrees today, too. No, it was like 83. That's pretty close to 88. Sure. And I drove 88 miles an hour to get there. Why are you and we, on? we saw some serious shit. <laughs> thanks for joining us today. We had fun. And uh, thanks to Mike for my new hat. It's awesome. And see you next week, hopefully. Go ahead. I was going to put on my shit kicker work boots, too. That would have been hot. That would have been hot with this shirt and this hat. Yeah. The old ladies would have been all over me. Not girly stuff. But I, I did see some books. So. Because that's girly stuff? No, wow. but I was interested in it. It's really sexist. 88 miles an hour. Right. Nice. Yeah, I get it. My, what are you talking about? Your brake light was just on. <laughs> Yours. Mm -hmm. That's so much better. <laughs> What did you just see on the side of the road? I think I saw a bag of cheese curd on the side of the road. Who the hell was going to drop the bag of cheese curd on the road? I'm guessing somebody got kidnapped and they dropped it because they were scared. Because there's no way anybody would ever drop cheese curds and leave them behind. I'm a back road.